Okay. So, I got all the sanding done. Um, went back over it and with a finer grit than the belt sander and got it nice and smooth. I did try the new stain I got. So it's I'm actually quite happy with it. So, you can see that. So, I ran into a first problem is this is going to be too thick this part because when I set it down if I, if I make it to where the hammer 7 sticks out like in most um, videos look where the trigger's at the trigger's way way too high and you can't get to it so I'm going to have to cut this down uh, almost about almost about to that line right here on this to get the hand get the trigger down enough another problem I'm having is if I get this piece to match up with this it's going to be too far forward you see there so too far forward and it's going to put the trip put the trigger that lined up way too far way too far ahead to where I grab it I'm not going to be able to probably reach the trigger Let's see. so this lined up with this so what I'm going to have to do is cut this back which I may have to just take this whole piece off right here that means I'm going to have to dremel all this, all this down. It's going to take me forever. But, um, that's it for now. I am going to cut this about even with this right here. Right even with that line. But I may take this apart just to see what what it's going to look like on the inside if I take this off. So I'm going to have to cut that even with that to here. So that way it'd still be able to sink that screw into something. So... Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll just... I'll make sure it's level and take it and score it straight across so that way it it's about even so alright well that's the update for right now so I removed the two screws one back here one here to see what it looked like if I cut this off. So it looks like everything is solid plastic in there. So I don't want to be cutting into anything major or too important. So I feel a little bit more comfortable cutting it off. So um, let me let me go ahead and get it started, and I'll I'll turn the camera back on and kind of show you all the progress. So I started cutting it, about halfway through, and it's, it's actually cutting pretty easy. Yeah. So, There's the cut. Too late to turn back now. So, 
I wish I could set down the trigger. Sure, if I want to go ahead and cut this, um, let's see. Yes, I am wearing a Gumby shirt. See, I have quite a bit of sanding to do in here, but. It'll be all right. So, all right, I'll keep y'all updated. Okay. Well, still sanding. Um, I made two marks right here. Let's see. Pick a pencil. Made a mark here. mark here and a mark here on both sides to show about where to dremel on the inside. Uh, also took a drill and started drilling right here. Um, so that way it's going to fit in right there. So taking it and drilling it all the way through. I'm just going to keep just drilling, 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 make all this wood a little bit weaker. So I'm just, when I dremel it, it just go ahead and just uh, splinter out. So, anyway, that's, that's the gist of it so far. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of progress done. Sorry, I'm out broke off. But anyway, a uh, little progress, so, catch you later. I just noticed that if I go up to the end here, this way, that far back, and, you know, this way, there's no space for the... Magwell. And if I want the trigger to come out here, there's nowhere for the trigger. So it looks like I'm going to be cutting this, all this out, unfortunately. But hopefully I'll try to, to get something to reinforce this up here. So I'm still going to cut that piece of wood out and uh, I'll glue it really good and Hopefully when I wrap it and everything, it'll just keep it nice and tight together. So, yep, just one of those, one of those things I wanted to do. Anybody wanted to do a project like this, uh, this is what you have to go through, trial and error.